Vanakam, namaste and blessings to everyone. This is the Sky Priestess. Now I've been studying the skies and there's a lot going on. And there are thousand astrologers, maybe hundreds of thousands of astrologers telling you exactly what aspect is doing what. So I don't feel the need to go over that. What I do feel the need to say is this. This is a time where we need to honor our hearts. Look at what it is that brings you life, that allows you to feel authentic and real, that lights you up from inside. And this is not something which your ego mind will have any say over because the ego has invested itself into certain ideas of what joy and passion and creativity look like. We are not looking for what the headspace thinks the heart should be. We are looking for a heart-based response in and of itself. When you see something or someone that just lights your fire and there is this immediate response that you just want to look at it or you just want to go for it or you just want to go, oh, what's this about? That's the kind of response that we're looking for. And different people and different activities and different sources will bring these catalysts towards you today. Today, tomorrow, in fact, all throughout eclipse season. But what is important here is to realize that this is not always going to be a happy-go-lucky experience. Sometimes feeling real means also feeling how wounded, how traumatized, and how vulnerable we actually do feel at the same time. And whilst that's not the happy heart, it's the real heart. And right now, a lot of people are going to be ripping the band-aid off, whether they like to or not, on emotional issues and traumas deeply held within the psyche, and it is not going to be a pleasurable experience for those people. And in those cases, it is imperative to find facilitators or counselors or people to work with who actually know how to deal with the proper holding of space in the expression of trauma. Now, Facebook is great, social media is great, social networks are great, but they are not a substitute for therapeutic care that actually by, done by professionals who actually have an understanding of how wounds need to be treated. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about the medical field, but even within the spiritual domain, simply expressing your wounds and feeling raw is not enough. You need to find people who actually know how to bear witness, know how to hold the right space, and know how to allow you to go through that alchemical transmutation. Otherwise, you're just going to express the pain, feel a little bit of relief, and it's just going to come straight back. So at this time, go to the places where you can bear your heart and where people actually know how to hold the right kind of space and the right kind of energy for you. This is a time of intense truth-telling. But... Be discerning as to the audience that you choose to do it for. Not everybody can handle your truth and not everybody needs to. Just make sure you find people who know what they are doing. Because I see a lot of well-meaning individuals out there and a lot of well-meaning posts out there that um, have not understood the energetic principles that go behind the transmutation of energy that is invested in the wound and the attachment to the wound. Not coming from a place of judgment, but it still needs to be said. Now, what I would also say is, in addition to whether it's coming through joy, whether it's coming through the realization of one's own wounds, this is a time where we do need to roar. And for some of us, roaring is literally standing on the stage and going, Rawr! and for others, it is whimpering quietly to ourselves into our pillow. It is all about which way that authenticity flows. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much the key message, really. That's going to be the message through this eclipse. And you're going to be seeing these messages come almost bleed through the month and into September as well. So stay real, stay true, go to facilitators who actually know what they're doing, and you should be okay. Now, that's the key message. So, yeah, take care. God is blessed. Stay grounded, stay discerning, stay as centered as possible, and uh, do what you got to do. Harm none, including the self. Cha-cha for now.